I covered a couple Argos practices back in like 2015, 16. You were like the fifth quarterback <laughs> back then. You didn't get a single rep in these practices. What would this version of yourself tell that guy who was the fifth quarterback just wearing a red jersey throwing balls to other quarterbacks? Thank you. And, and the reason I say thank you is for sticking it out. You know, at the time, the facilities were not great. You were fist string. You knew you had no chance to play. Um, it was extremely difficult to be away from, at the time, my girlfriend, who's now my wife, uh, away from my family, in another country that you didn't know much about, different currency, different bank account, different phone uh, data. So I, I just would say thank you for sticking it out. And there was a lot of tough years where, you know, you are a backup and then something happens to a starter and you don't get to start and they start somebody else. And it's like, you know, there's many times where I contemplated going into free agency, being just hanging them up and being like, my opportunity is never to, gonna come. But I stuck it out and to be sitting here playing in my first great cup as a, as a starting quarterback, I, I would just say thank you for the patience and the dedication because it's paid off. Have you ever spoken to Colin Kaepernick about the CFL, both Nevada guys? I mean, you followed him? We were very close. Uh, when I was coming out of college, I, I asked him a lot about the NFL process and the combine. Um, and then his circle started to shrink closer and closer. And then so one day I just stopped getting the text from him that was, hey, this is Colin's new number. You know, I was on it for about four or five months. And then all of a sudden it just uh, didn't, didn't happen. And I do know this. If I were to run into Kaepernick today, we would – be talking like we've seen each other every single day of the past however many years and I got a lot of respect for what he's did for me at Nevada and the way he brought me under his wing he was a senior when I was a redshirt freshman and he had no obligation to show me the way and he did and so uh, I, I owe him a lot and how he taught me how to be a quarterback at Nevada and then throughout the process of the NFL he, he taught me what to expect at the combine what to expect interviewing with teams and you know going through the draft process and so I've been really fortunate and blessed with riches with amazing quarterbacks that I've had past you know you Colin Kaepernick's one Ricky Ray Travis Lule spending time with Anthony Calvillo coach Moss like I've had the riches of quarterbacks to learn from and I'm very thankful for that